It's another week and the advocates have their feet firmly on the pedal. Uche will be reminding us to put on the unfashionable truth. That is, if we want to experience true liberty, she says. Chuka warns us that he might sound alarmist, but fear not, it's all in a good cause. Watch out, Chuka, you're fast developing a brand. <laughs> Runke Posh, as I, I like to call her, a newest recruit, drops it like a homegirl. She'll be exclaiming, there's fire on the mountain. <laughs> Libo Libo, AKA Libras, AKA Libby, is back in town from his travels. And what do you know? He's coming bearing tidings of bad roads. Hmm. As for me, I'll be putting us in first gear by calling for the implementation of capital punishment for kidnappers after the break. The other day I heard of a man whose wife and teenage son were kidnapped and a ransom was being demanded. It seemed to be a drawn out process. A ransom was paid and eventually the man's wife and son were killed. Imagine the heartbreak for this man, his only son and wife. Imagine the trauma and anguish. Samson Siasia's mom till today has not been released by the kidnappers despite negotiations and a ransom being paid. In fact, did we not hear that the man who delivered the ransom was himself kidnapped? Wow. Let us not imagine that this elderly woman or any of the numerous people kidnapped will ever be, be the same again, even if they are released. We haven't even begun to speak of the anguish and trauma of their loved ones over the period of their captivity. We now hear of king pins in the kidnapping community. More recently, a colleague of mine was beaten and robbed in what we call a one chance, a bus presenting as public transport, but essentially is manned by robbers. This colleague had her account emptied out in a matter of minutes. What makes these criminals think their survival or welfare is more important than that of others? That they're entitled to take from others what they have earned or possess? It's a culture that's becoming more and more brazen as the days go by. Insecurity ranks top three amongst Nigeria's myriad of problems. For me, it's our number one of the list of problems. As we mark our 59th year of independence, Insecurity is making Nigeria inhospitable for all of us and speaks to a degeneration of society as increasingly money is upheld to the status of a god. This is a state of emergency as far as I'm concerned, a code red matter. Recently, the IGP, Inspector General of Police, said he, we should dialogue with the bandits and he compares their position to that of the Niger Delta militants who were offered amnesty. I say, rather than talk, now is the time when, if found guilty, the state should seek the death penalty, especially where kidnappers are concerned, in order to create an effective deterrent. I remember the shootings at Bar Beach. I don't know if any of you do. Men tied up against poles, blindfolded, and dispatched to the afterlife, ready or not. As harrowing as that is, I believe we need to reinstate such measures. Along with training up a committed security force, to decisively deal with this menace. I would normally not advocate for capital punishment as I believe all human life is valuable and should be treated as such. But on this occasion, it has become apparent to me anyway, that a drastic situation calls for drastic measures. Apart from this, the cancer of kidnapping, killings, banditry in the name of money will consume us all and destroy our nation. We need to cut it off before it's too late. Mm. Yeah. Ex excellent. There's nothing more to say. Yes, I think they should be killed. There's a lot. You know, um, <coughs> there, there are certain things that I think people should be killed for. And when you say life is valuable, yeah, it is. But um, if you don't value your own life, um, I don't see why I should give it unnecessary value. Um, there are things that we can talk to people about so that they can change. But there are things that you really don't deserve to live. And kidnapping, rape, these are <coughs> sorts of things that sorry, I, sorry. I have zero tolerance for. What about the argument? Because when I was reading up there, saying that, is it really a deterrent? You know, do you believe it's a deterrent? That's, that's the area I want I, to I, I, I somehow, before, you, before you talk liberals, I, obviously, I, I'm not, I'm not, I can't be scientific about it, right? Mm -hmm. But I believe it will be a deterrent, yes. Uh, how much of a deterrent, I don't know. Um, and 
let's not go into whether it's animalistic you know let's not don't let the the white man you know tell you that rounding people up on bar beach and shooting and making it look like it's a fun thing is an animalistic thing to do because um, as we were saying earlier, it's n when we try their system, we are usually not so good at it. Perhaps we should just keep to our systems and do what we need to do. Shock and awe. Yeah. But, yeah, but, but, but the issue here really is not um, whether you tie kidnappers to stick and kill them. Because in some states, like Anambra states, Edo states and a couple yeah, of other yeah, states, yeah. 12 or 13 states. Mm. Uh, penalties for kidnapping is death. death yeah. But how many have yeah, been caught? of these people have they caught and even those and i can tell you authoritatively mm. that apart from governor shomole yes since because once a death sentence is passed you need the consent of the governor to carry yes. the execution yes. since yes. 1999 yes. no apart yeah. from shomole no yeah. governor, governor mm -hmm. has signed has oh, really? Sign yeah, a actually, death warrant. Do you in know Lagos, why? In 2017 somebody do you passed the prohibition bill do you know Kinder. why do you know why because some of these, if not all of them, mm. these government officials are also are culpable. Exactly. Because you need to also <laughs> no, look true. at the flip side of it yes. this. Sorry, how do you kidnapping, mean culpable? Please spell it out. Yeah, kidnapping, you know, has become so lucrative now because, one, you hear that the police will tell you no ransom was paid. But at the end of the day, the victim will say, well, we paid ransom. Well, we paid, yeah. And then, you know, in spite of the introduction of um, the BVN, mm -hmm. uh, the SIM card registration, yet these people are not arrested. Mm -hmm. And then we're talking about infrastructures also. Some of these people, why there's no excuse for crime at all? Okay. But some of these people, is the society they found themselves now. If you look at the statistics of people that have lost their job, from 1999 to date, it's alarming. Mm -hmm. And yet, government is not bothered about how do we ensure that we create employment. The employment are created in statistics in the offices and the rest. And so that is why they also feel this. Okay, the culpabilities that yes. part of the problem. So they feel, and then we hide under this Christianity religion that I don't want to soil my hands with blood. Knowing fully well that also they are part of the problem. They are soiling their hands with blood mm -hmm. daily. And some of these boys also, some of them, like we saw in the Niger Delta militancy, they were people that were used and mm -hmm. armed for the election. by, by yeah, the politicians for the election. Yeah. 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 Um, everything Libora said really is pretty much what I was going to say. Um, first and foremost, these um, politicians, a lot of them are be behind these kidnappings. Um, we only That's have not what Libora said, though. Well, he, he, boys he's, are he's saying that. I'll, 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 I'll let me explain quickly. to you. And I saw quickly, you need to create insecurity also, also, mm. also sometimes to, you know, use security votes. Mm. Yeah, if there is right. no insecurity, you won't you have so much. Well, like like, have like we discovered, um, you know, remember not too long ago when um, the police lost um, four of their yes. very important men. Exactly. Um, you know, because the, the, this particular kidnapper, Wadume, what, what what yes. Kingpin. Yes, and we even discovered that he had been fraternizing and with gave, the APC. There were pictures that, yes, absolutely. Million. So you can see. Not just the party, including the military. Yes, mm. so you can see that they were even Alleged. willing to waste policemen of that caliber so free, to free yes okay <laughs> yeah, the, to free him so you can sort of see that there's now Something look at Evans's case yeah. Evans has been there nobody's doing anything with Evans they've just kept him so in, the trial is ongoing okay it's ongoing adjournment, adjournment. but chances are Evans will probably uh, be freed and we won't hear about it because again when you see that caliber of kidnapping you tend to understand that there's something no, behind but you know it. what you're arguing for you're just basically explaining why it won't work yes well, you haven't, you haven't told me whether you support it. Oh, no, principle. okay, let me tell you. I do support it. I really believe that um, it, it can work. It can be a really strong deterrent. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, I also don't believe it will work because of the people behind it okay. and the infrastructural issues that liberals, uh, you know, raise. Um, similar thoughts. It's a good idea. It's mm -hmm. a deterrent. However, implementation, we know how corrupt the system is. Yes. Yeah, because, I mean, when I was reading up, I was surprised how many states had actually adopted this, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, I said even Ambode had signed it you, into you know, law they talk, the, they, they talk the for tough a law. talk but the prohibition act I, 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 I don't believe for me I know it won't work <laughs> It won't work. No, as in it just wouldn't Why happen. Why would it work? Mm. As that is, it won't uh, slow it down. It won't. Yeah. It okay. won't. Even if they were to enforce it. It won't. Okay. Worst case, the worst that will happen. Do you know how many criminals are executed, 
through extrajudicial means. By yeah, that's right. I was just going to say that it's actually happening as, already. As, as it you yeah. know deter um, people yeah. from from going into crime. Okay. No, exactly. so you mean when the police so chase after the them? Way yeah, you so can, the way you can you can deter you. people. You, if you provide the right infrastructures, yeah. like you talked about the policing, yes, provide proper policing, provide the right infrastructure to, for people. Yesterday, I got to my office and I, I needed to put on the generator to be able to work. Mm. I couldn't find my generator key. Okay. You know, so so these are some of the issues. Mm. And you so some the, some sometimes the society, you know, pushes you to a exactly. point where you are frustrated. You don't really care. What happens thereafter? Yeah, you know, so so you that's, know why, that that's why it's not working. Even not planning. in states where it is, um, mm. it, 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 it's passed. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Well, as they say, when the going gets tough, well, you know the rest. After the break, Uche is set to tell us the tough truth. Isn't that right, Uche? That's right, X. If it's not trending, it could mean that it's in the league of the classical. Today I'm going to be talking about the unfashionable truth. We've all heard the popular sayings, the truth will set you free, and tell the truth and shame the devil. In both contexts, we're encouraged to speak truth regardless of the consequences. Most parents try to instill this in their kids from an early age, but as they enter adulthood, something happens. We begin to realize that we're only allowed to tell the truth as long as no one's feelings gets hurt. Suddenly, we can't be honest about any, anyone's flaws, even if it's a gigantic pimple at the end of your friend's nose. When asked, is it really big? Your response is expected to be, you can hardly notice it. As liberalism began to gain ground, so did a movement called political correctness. Now we're no longer allowed to speak our minds if it goes against the current narrative. For example, if a man says he's a woman, then regardless of what you know to be true, he must be addressed as he demands and failure to do so could result in a lawsuit. We now live in a society where truth is often silenced and replaced with falsehood or relative truth. Sometimes referred to as my truth, Propaganda is used to run governments, and lying has become perfectly acceptable if you think you have a good reason. When did we become so allergic to the truth? It probably stems from our quest to satisfy self. We all want to do and be whatever we want and silence any opposition. Relationships are more sycophantic than honest, in my opinion. Morality is at an all-time low as people live unruly, debauched, dishonest lives with no one to correct them for fear of being labeled judgmental. It appears that corruption and hypocrisy is at an all-time high. I am of the opinion that truth is fast becoming very scarce, a very scarce commodity. If we want to see an improvement in the way our societies and relationships are run, then we need to go back to the days when honesty was golden and truth was sacred. We need to be ready to hear and receive truth so as to proffer suitable solutions to our problems. We need to be able to speak our minds, no matter how unpalatable it may be, so that we can get to the bottom of difficult, sensitive issues. If we want true freedom, then we must wholeheartedly embrace truth. Mm -hmm. What's truth? Hmm. He's uh, gone philosophical on that. <laughs> yeah. what's, what's, what's truth to you may not be truth to me, Absolutely. depending on the... And, and so for me, I, like they say, like we say, there are, to every story there are three sides. And so supporting your position now, mm -hmm. my side, your side, and the truth. The truth is always constant, mm -hmm. uh, depending on whether you witness you know, the event or not. But you know, I also understand the truth you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, growing up, they tell you, speak the truth always, speak mm. the truth always. It depends on that same truth also. <laughs> uh, in some cases, it is constant. It is in some other cases, it is not constant. And so in that case, perception now takes the place of truth. Because the way I perceive it might be different from the way Chuka perceives it or the way Ronke perceives it. And, and so if I speak from my perception, from where I'm standing, that might be my truth, but not your truth. Mm. And from the opposition also, when you speak your own truth, it might be different from my truth. So in that case, you know, so people now trying to tend to find a balance, you know, and, and, and so that's why I think, but 
you, you know, with uh, politics involving <laughs> most of these things, it is also very difficult now to have a universal truth. Mm. Yeah. Uh, or most especially also when you also have a system of government that is different from one another. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, and, 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 and so that, that's, you know, a, a bit philosophical, though. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, it it, it, the, is, it has, is a philosophical... <laughs> um, no, but also, yeah, I mean, I, I think yes. when she was, she was dealing with people who are, in a way, they want to be lied to. That's the impression yes, I get. Yes. So, so you're, people like, you know, when he was talking about the mommy or you, you some time back, you know, you want to surround yourself with praise singers, people who come and tell you how great thou art. And it's actually destructive for you and for them because, you know, I tend to feel that what you need, are, especially in politics, I'm glad you referred to politics because that's what's killing us here. We have a lot of people in power who surround themselves with people who just tell them the things they want to hear. And they're almost like divorced from the rest of society. And you almost wish somebody could just put their nose in the problem so that they will wake up and do something something about it. You know, so that's my problem with sycophancy is that it actually destroys the person you're, you're hailing and destroys society at large. So I personally wouldn't want to have friends around me who do, didn't once in a while say something to me that made me sit up. Mm -hmm. I would be distrustful of them because I'm sure I'm doing things that they should be correcting. So if every day all they have to say to me is, oh, wow, everything you're doing is just, and then I'm suspicious. That so the best that, I only trust that people who once happen. in a while, mm, <laughs> and I know Uche is good at doing straight talk. So people like that, I tend to value, and if I was going to ask someone's opinion, I'll go to those people, even though I know I may not like what they have to say, but I trust, at least I trust where they're coming mm. from. You know, and also when you now start dealing with the issue of the man who wants to be referred to as a woman, mm. I just had to say, well, not in Nigeria, at least for now. Mm. You're not going to do any lawsuits against someone for saying you're not a man. <laughs> you're, you're a woman. Well, a, man, a, a woman cannot be a man, and a man cannot be a woman. <laughs> there you go. For that you. Is but it's how he feels. That's he feels the universal he's a woman. truth. Mm. And no matter how the man feels, mm. We're not here to deal with feelings. Yes. In that so that's why you're now isolating the truth. Yeah, yeah, you know, we're not, he's a man. If he wants to feel like a woman, no that's problem. He tells certain people, mm -hmm. they treat me like can't a woman. now tell Someone, me I should feel. Who was it? There's I, a transgender man who just recently some, had a baby. From the, from it the was in the news. He's a, he's there, had a baby. Yeah, he must have done something. Anyway, anyway. There's also somebody who says he will be referred to as they. Mm. I, I can't yes, remember. What does that mean? Yes. Yeah, they, that true means. Binary. Yeah. They, these yeah. are now known as non binary, binary. binary yeah. individuals. So you talk and, about they? And they are called they, and they have yeah. babies, yeah. as in babies that are they. Neither men nor women. They don't women. raise these babies boys or girls. as boys or girls. They don't even tell them. The they wait for the baby to feel. to grow into a child and say, you know, you know what? I feel like a dog, and then they might raise yeah, the baby right, as a dog. dog. Okay. So, you know. so very soon, some people will feel like adults, yes. and so you will have a child as president. Who, who's uh, who is as uh, president? No, no, you have a child who is, uh, is who is older than his father exactly, because, because he feels, he feels like way. his grandfather, yes, yes. Yes. and so he should be raised. Should be allowed like to a, watch. Yeah, I mean, I want to clarify <laughs> the real, the kind of truth I'm speaking about is really the, like the ones we're discussing now. <laughs> I mean, a couple of things, like mm. you rightly said, what's the truth? Mm. I have mine, you have yours, yeah, there's a universal truth. The danger that we run is that there's going to come a time when somebody's going to wake up and say, I was born a pedophile. Yes. And I want mm. and a baby. Exactly. The time has you know, and it's that's my get, truth. It's going to get that bad. Mm. Yes, and I, I tend to tell my daughter, if I'm going out of the house and maybe I smell funky or my, something is funny, if you really love me, you will be the one to tell me. You will not yeah. wait for me to come on this show and everyone here will <laughs> say, oh, that don't care the posh that smells. Yeah. <laughs> so the person that loves you will tell you Absolutely. the truth. Yeah. Yeah. So whilst there may be your truth, my truth, there is a universal That's truth, like yes. Chuka said. So mm -hmm. we must love each other enough mm -hmm. to begin to tell the truth or yeah. else it will come to the point where somebody yeah. is going to have a baby. You can't send your child to school because somebody is waiting because we Born, is born that pedophile. Pedophile. Yes. Yeah, I, I agree, I agree also. And then um, you, you find out that, that in politics, really, mm. I tell people, once a friend of mine is elevated to that level, uh, after congratulating <laughs> you, I leave you. Because you won't be right to hear the truth after that. No, yeah, because you have the people are the most dangerous set of people. You know, in politics are those along the corridors of power. Oh, wow. and so the moment you get into power, your friends, you know, will take the back seats. Mm. Yes. Those are the people you relate with daily. And those people never tell you the truth. It takes, it takes a man who wants to know the truth to break away from those at the, at the corridor to say, look, you know what? Come. Um, the current minister for state for budget once told us that the, the reason Adam Sushomole 
appointed him as commissioner was because he told him, he said, look, I know what power is, but I want a few of my friends who could still be able to look me in the eye and say, look, you know, comrade, you are wrong here. Do you think they're still telling him the truth now? I don't know. I'm just <laughs> narrating yeah. what, but you know. Yeah. And, and so you have people who would feel, look, I want to hear the truth. Mm. You have and to be deliberate some, about it. Yeah, you have to be, for you to actually hear the truth, you have to be deliberate. Yeah, we talk about feelings then, mm. because it, it struck me that I, I don't see myself as someone who would ever lie. You know, I know it sounds extreme to some people yeah, because they think I, everybody lies, yeah. but I don't see myself. However, I'm not about to hurt someone's feelings by, so I have to think hard. You know, so it takes, it takes something, I have to assess how critical that thing is and whether you're even ready to receive it before I now approach you and if it's a make or break issue. So these are things I weigh before I now come and sit you down and say. Yeah, that's true because yeah. not, not everybody wants to hear. And yeah. not everybody's ready to hear too. I think so many want people to are ready them. to hear if it's constructive. Okay, so how you, how you present it. Yes. If it's constructive, so if, if, you tell me if go I to do hair. a presentation oh. and there's a typographical error in it and you say, oh, this doesn't look good on your school, there's a typographical error in it. Mm. Or if you dig because you want to hurt my feelings. Yeah, that's yes. And that's different. Because you yeah. find that in a lot of childhood friends, when one steps up and is doing better than the others, mm. then the dig comes. Mm. And then you find that your real friends will be the ones that will tell you the truth that, oh, like I was coming out, my, I sent my pictures to my friend. What do I look like? My makeup. They'll be like, oh, this one is that, that one. That constructive feedback. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, I like that. Okay, well, you heard us. Standing apart from the crowd is often underrated. After the break, Chuka is set to go maverick on us. What's new, Chuka? <laughs> I don't know about maverick. However, I'm certainly ready to flip their narrative. So I'm going to sound alarmist, but it's all in a good cause. So the white man is color neutral. Perfection attained. We are the colored ones. Okay, now let's dump that rubbish. We are not colored. They are white and we are black. Do not answer to such categorization. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, addressed South Africans. She says she came as a woman of color. In Africa, she's black, really, politically. We don't need that script here. Many conveniently forget the use of similar terms in apartheid South Africa, a nation stolen from blacks. Whites, blacks, and coloreds, where blacks came last. I therefore declare people of color to be a racist term. So South African whites would probably now be the people of color, obviously, you know. Now let's look at climate change. Africa contributes a minuscule amount to global warming, fact. According to the US Energy Information Administration, in 2018, all of Nigeria emitted 100 million metric tons of carbon dioxide compared to 5,268 million metric tons by the US. So to reverse the damage, it is the West that need to cut down so much that they'll probably die trying. But they feed us a line and we feel roped into the climate issues problem. They send a little girl, Greta Thunberg, around as an activist. We don't need her here. All we have to do is sit and wait for them to clear the mess and will join them in the spoils of success, but without damaging our own any further. We do need to control our actions, obviously, nonetheless. My people, free yourselves of this hastiness to accept narratives that really demean, undermine us, or rope us into stuff we did not create. Let's build a new way for ourselves. Thank you, Chika. Uh, no. no, thank you. I, I, Why are you I, thanking you know, him? No, I'm thanking him because I remember reading Meghan Markle. Uh, uh, okay, you know, I know yes, thanking him. Uh, you know, reading her, I'm a woman of color. And that term has always niggled, irritated me, you name it. When I started uh, studying abroad, the first thing I used to hear, oh, you're colored. And I used to look and wonder who is more colored mm -hmm. out of the two of us. I automatically, that was the first thing I told them that I find that term racist. Mm -hmm. And I remember saying, it as a kid that was 12 13 because i found it abhorrent that anybody would call me colored what makes you the norm and i am the colored one so wow. that really irritates me and for megan who is so political politically correct to use a term like that in today's society i'm disgusted and actually that really upset me put me to a point where i'm not even a fan anymore i used to think she was okay nah, she's but i'm okay. no mm, <laughs> nah she showed me who she okay, is okay let me let me, Second, let me okay, no, finish I, your I mean, point 
but please go ahead. <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, offer you another exactly. perspective. No, but really, I quickly. No, but like, no, we'll have land because no, I'm waiting in Kiev to come quickly back. Cheap this <laughs> yeah, so she can. Okay, okay, let me go. So my own. You, you mm. know, um, when our forefathers mm. were using water to communicate with um, somebody, you know. Abroad or he's in the village. Yes, you know, you just call somebody's name <laughs> yes, and, and he appears and then you uh, deliver a message and then yeah, Chuka would dream. That. Yes, that's Chuka would advanced. dream and receive the message. <laughs> mm. We said it was a, you know, witchcraft. You, uh, you know, mm. you go to the village and then, you know, they, they use African way to cure you, yes, so it's witchcraft. Yes, sir, yeah. Because we jettison our uh, culture, yes. our tradition, our way of life. Mm. And so, and now embrace the one that was fostered on us. Why wouldn't they say, you know, they we, are superior? We, and, 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 and we are colored, or that mm. we know nest. So you can't, you can't, like, Fella once said that when he went um, to London, you know, then his band was a color lobito, and so he t tried singing, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, the white man. And his mother called him and said, "No, for you to be good at what you're doing, you have to create, you know, your own identity. Yeah. Sing like the person you are." Wow. And so he started singing in pidgin English, and that's what made him yeah. raise. Yeah. So you but can't beat the white man yeah, at his in his own, own game. game. So you have to look inward, like Barack Obama once said. The problem, to, the solution to Africans' problem lies in Africa. So we have to look at, you know, ourselves mm -hmm. and create a solution to our problem. And this, you know, like Chuka said, this latching on to the horse. Oh, climate change, everybody's discussing. Yeah, please don't, don't, okay, okay. Let, me, let me change land, because I'm waiting. Land. Yeah, and then yeah. also this Unga, you know, climate change speech that our president took himself to. Oh, In fact, when I heard he was there, first of all, my first question was, what are you doing there? You have nothing to contribute to climate change right now. Not even just the fact that it's a small, that, that our so-called carbon emissions or whatever is a minuscule amount compared to whatever, USA or whatever. It is... You have not put infrastructure on ground to prevent us from even doing any of these it's things. A meeting, our, come the meeting uh, look, we're all running generators morning, noon, and night. Uh, our cars, who does M uh, MOTs on our cars? Our cars are just running everywhere, generating all manners of fu uh, fumes. So, what is your business okay, okay. there? Please. That is where Let me, I, I, I remember to, to say all that. the things that I'm yeah, building up in my you. mind. Let me start with Megan Marco. Both of you must first accept that you have a problem with her. No, I didn't. So, already, you're biased. So that, but, no, 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 no. Okay, no, no, okay, no, 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 no you no, guys are rubbing off on you. My own very okay, let me carry on. Let me carry on. I think actually Not the history biased. of colored. The word colored. I, I know you must have checked it up. And I was right. Yeah. No, Carry it actually on. originated referring to mulatto people, people yes. of, of, no. of mixed. Uh, no, wait no, no, no. now, that's wait, a, wait, bros. Wait, wait. Allow me to just land correct. the point. No, no, no. Wait I'm now. Afraid. I know the Americans originated it, but it, when when they were using it in South Africa, it's actually accepted in South Africa till today because it, it refers to people of mixed heritage. Let me continue. And and, and for, wait, wait, please. I don't want to lose my train of thought. Okay. And in a, so far as Libros was mentioning the fact that oh, you know, jettisoning our own and all that. If you look at people like the Chinese, the Japanese, they haven't jettisoned their own. I, I hope we all agree. Yes. But they are also included in that term, colored people, because they're non Caucasian. No, they're hardly ever referred Indian, to as colored. Okay, so okay well, 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 I, let me continue, so because it's non, non pure not. white. But it's okay. So I'm not sure if that's the reason why we're referred to as colored. So colored, as far as um, No, I'm Megan, not talking about colored. I'm just talking about no, but you know, the, this practice no, of But even imposing a narrative on them, they're now. still being imposed upon, yes. even though they haven't, they, they'll still hold on to their own. Them. So yeah, of course, it's a power play. That's we good. agree. I agree with you. I'm not trying to throw everything out. I agree with you. I like the fact that Chuka is wanting to say, look, let's determine. But I'm not sure if this this determining your own defining yourself is really has everything to do with color. I don't like the term color. To some extent way, it has. But I'm trying to allow for the fact that in some people's eyes when they say colored, they're just defining a certain No, who gives they don't them define the me right. like that. Wait, who now that's the one right. side. So like put that to one who gives side. Them the right I move to on do to that. I move on to climate change. We shouldn't of course run so we should quickly be of course climate we should let be concerned with colored. climate <laughs> climate change. I'll come back color if you want, but let me continue. <laughs> of course we should be concerned with climate change because if anybody reads and sees that actually Africa is going to bear the brunt, in spite of the fact that we contribute a minuscule amount, we stand to bear, and we're already seeing it flooding. Even the fact that you have Fulani headsmen migrating around. I personally don't it's, buy into So if you like, stay there and put your head in the sun like a know, ostrich and say, to, "You guys deal with you your know. own mess." The mess will come back on you. The world is a global the village. The solution to so, the so problem the does not right. even include and Africa. Greta Thunberg is to be admired. We shouldn't dismiss her. At all. The president is right. She's exactly the epitome of what our young ladies should be. The president is right.
right to go there, and she's it's a responsible puppet, thing to and do. She's been and I think it's actually irresponsible to imply that we shouldn't be bothered about climate change. No, nobody I'm glad you not. added that. I, we should I do personally think, think that the climate change that is right. Let's listen back. Let's for the damage. If you like, it's not the fire in the upstairs room. It will come down to burn you. I'm in charge today. I'm in charge today. Let's look and say something. Yes. Yes. Let's ask you When it comes to this climate change, recycling is not okay. something I don't believe is something new in Nigeria. No, because we if you check it, many naturally. people's pepper containers, mm. the bottles that they yes. use, we've been recycling. We've yeah. used so many things. Yeah. We've always yeah. been recycling yeah. before exactly. it became um, it, something it, it that is a trendy yes. term. They so we're there. But us. as she rightly said, we will bear the brunt of it. Mm -hmm. Every old car that cannot move on the roads in the UK or any other country. We they accept it. it. Yeah, but yeah. is that what they are discussing at the climate change? No. <laughs> no. So, so what, what, what what is it planting there? trees? Yeah. At least he mentioned yeah. planting trees. Yeah. He, which is right. Yeah, which is right. Oh. And, and reducing deforestation. But why didn't he go there and tell them, you guys have messing up big time so the, the, and the weight of the yeah and, no, and fair so enough exactly, exactly. So yeah, yeah that's the area we should I, I, be taking yeah, it I from want, okay want, fair if, enough if buhari knew what he was supposed to be doing he would tell them he'll point at them and say tell me how you're going to get me out of this after place. this plus, problem they, you have created for plus, me they created they are part of the reason why no, but we to say he shouldn't go like, there is no no, no. my sand. question was what is he doing there no i don't care what is he doing there it's not everything it's all our problems it's all our problems on this uh, really yeah. uh, is it time already i'm mean, just getting yes, warmed up we yes, haven't even dealt with it and i'm so you find out that yes it's a problem it's become because once these people sneeze they want to involve you uh, in the problem. Yes, we agree. We bear the brunt because we don't have a voice. We seem not to have a voice. voice we yeah. follow hook, line, and sinker mm -hmm. what they are saying rather than telling them what they should be hearing, talking about exactly. the same truth. Yeah. And, and so that's where the problem is. You go there, they tell you this is what is happening, and, you and then you come back home and you're... At the end of the day, the problem persists yes. in your own environment. Yes. And why you are helping them to look for solution to the problem you know they that created? Mosquito, malaria, mosquito will be one of the things that will thrive when the temperature. We already is have. Um, so the like, 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 like I, I told the medical doctor abroad, we have all kinds of I said, of look, we all live with malaria. We are, we are, Many we all of us, live with uh, malaria. It's not a problem. It's going to get worse, and then the temperature will go up by 1.5 degrees. If you buy into all of that, anyway, I don't buy into any of that. And I think we can't avoid the fact that we're all in it together. I agree with what you guys are saying. We need to have confidence to command and say, look, you have caused most of this problem. Show us your investment in, in sorting it out. But we can't say that we're not part of it Absolutely, now. Absolutely, yes. Well, I'm guessing that rocked a few boats. Thank goodness. Now, here's where you let us know your mind, no holds barred. On scandalous salaries, Borokini Richard simply says, well said. Thank you, Richard. On our oppressive bank charges, Abim Bola says, it's high time we start addressing these issues. Also on oppressive bank charges, Wankwo Chukudi says, yes, the charges are quite many, but some are not exclusive to the banks per se. The stamp duty on each deposit, both cash and electronic transfers, are exclusive to the federal government, CBN stamp duty. The SIMS alert charges were drastically reduced from 15 Naira to 4 Naira, and telecom sectors have a share in it. The card maintenance, monthly maintenance that is, is 52 Naira, is shared with various card companies like Verve and so on. Remember also that COT reduced dramatically from 5 million to about 2, two 5 per million, 5 Naira that is, to about 2 Naira per million. Nevertheless, they should be reviewed. Well, keep co your comments coming in on our social media platforms. On Facebook, we are Plus TV Africa. Hashtag the advocate ng on Twitter and Instagram at plus TV Africa hashtag the advocate ng to catch up with previous broadcasts go to plus TV Africa.com forward slash the advocate and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel plus TV Africa after the break our next advocate unlike her nickname isn't pulling any punches she tells us like it is she might even tell us why she's called Runke Posh while she's at it, I'm waiting. I'm Roke Posh. Well, that's for me to know and for you to figure out. Time to tell you of an incident that left me stunned. For whom the bell tolls, the decadence of education in Nigeria. So I interviewed a teacher, nice CV, very good looking and all. 
It got to the part where she was to use the interactive board. She had no clue. No wahala. That one is common and can be taught. We showed her how to use the board and the stylus to write. Teach us. So that's micro teaching. She wrote Tuesday as T H U R E S D A Y or something like that. Okay, human error. Check your spelling. No luck. This is what Innocent Yusa taught us. He called it unconsciously incompetent. Go and beat him. No be me talker. Okay. There were many spelling challenges, so we decided to do a spelling test. It was bad. No, it was baddest. Bear in mind, she had a two one. First, she put her hand on her head, like I'm going to do now. And if I'm lying, as we say, let thunder come right now. She started shaking and telling us, I'm tense, I'm just tense, I'm tense. She repeated, since there is fire on my head. We tried to calm her down and ask her to write on paper. Long story short, she had 12 over 60. Words my four-year-old kids, that year four, will have for breakfast. Why do I tell this story? Hmm. I want you to wake up from your slumber if you're sleeping. Nigeria is in a desperately scary state when it comes to educating her youth. The lady in question has a degree. Wake up because good teachers are now like gold dust. Wake up because if your child's foundation is messed up, you may remain sorry for ages. Wake up. English is still our language of communication in Nigeria. Until we choose pidgin or broken English, let us hashtag speak and write well so our kids can do well and collaborate internationally. It will help them read, learn, research, explore, grow, and so on. Wake up if you are one of those that does not check your kids' homework or communication logs or on or offline because you are busy. Wake up because this type of person may be your child's teacher. Wake up if you want to birth another child. Make sure you find options for that child as soon as possible. Wake up because gone are the days when you just have kids because it's the next thing to do, because you want a particular gender or number of kids. Wake up. There is fire on the mountain. Don't say I haven't been warning you. I have my plan B people online. How market? <laughs> nice one. Nice one, Roquet Posh. Yeah, I like that. You know, you know now why. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 I like that. that. No, you haven't worked it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I haven't worked it out, but we will talk about it after. Unfortunately, unfortunately, um, everything you have said is it's so true. spot on. Wow. Um, the unfortunate part of it is that um, the, those that one. are leading us, not even two, uh, we, are, we are so, our emphasis is on paper qualification. It's nonsense. And, it's waste of time. you know, so those that are leading us, you know, have not come to terms with what she's saying. If Correct. they do, um, it's us so still on paper. Mm -hmm. And that's why, we're, even now that the world is diversifying into a knowledge-based economy, mm -hmm. yes. we're discussing agriculture, yes. close border. Yeah. Forgetting that a Greek without value added, mm -hmm. it's poverty. It's, poverty. Yes, yes. it's what will lead you to, oh, our tests. Mm -hmm. You know, so we should begin to, it's not just enough to say, yes, send them to private school, send them to America to school. We should begin to look at our education and our, actually how to add value, mm -hmm. you know, to man and not just teach them because, yes, it is the in thing to do. Mm, wow, well, absolutely agree. Yeah, um, it, it's quite interesting, really, because um, my son goes to a private school. She, yeah, we'll call it private, mm -hmm. goes to a private school and everything. And we were doing homework the other day, and I can't remember what word he said. And I told him, no, you don't pronounce it like that. You pronounce it like this. And he said to me, no, my teacher pronounced it like that. I said, look, let me tell you who I am. <laughs> you know, I won English prizes. This is what I do for you. Listen to me when it comes to English. You listen to these people. Because I know that even with the best intentions and yes, everything, absolutely. that many of them do not, don't speak English properly, don't, can't even teach it properly. Um, I remember even going to a very well-known uh, school and they were having um, 
something in the assembly hall. I can't remember what it was. And the teacher who was the, I think she was either called the diction teacher or the English teacher, oh, could so not so even so speak topic. English properly <laughs> in this particular school. I wish I could name the name because no, if, if I did, yeah, then people really understand how bad it really is. You know, so we're really, we're, we're in a messed up state right now. I really, really feel for um, the children that are in public schools because I, I always say to, to my mom, we always have these discussions, I say, I don't even know what they're learning there. Not just public schools. What Not are they just doing there? Schools, even private schools. Yes, even but private schools. Like private schools are bad. Them, yeah, parking. that's what I'm saying. That are moving if out. the private yes. schools are bad, yeah. then, then you can imagine there? what's mm. happening in the public yeah, schools. Who can pay good salaries. You know? yes. So yes. Th this is a really big concern. And, you know, so we're having a, a group of. I think we should close children. our borders also to those going abroad so that all of us. Yes, yes. Dig it out together. Do it together. Yes, I agree. I agree. You can't do that because. To close borders to rise. I mean, why can't we all. <laughs> but, but why can't we all do an El Rufai, you know, and uh, like El Rufai, according to him, is sending his kid to mm -hmm. a public, public school. school. I don't know. I don't know so if it's a photo up or Maybe whatever. Mm -hmm. it yeah, because if be your kids like are that. there, you'll fund it. Yes. And so that's why I say let's close our borders to... You, you know, this um, he, uh, head tourism, education tourism. Yes. Let's all collect our passport. All of us will remain here. So and die here. <laughs> I mean, actually, yeah. since we have closed our borders to our rights and the rest, and so we want to yeah. grow it here. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you see, the problem is you can't, we have to deal with it simply by being honest about the problem. Ah. Yeah. There's no other way. You know, you can't force me, even if I was in government today and I had money. Uh, pre presumably not from government. Mm. Maybe I, I had money before I even went in there. You can't stop me from sending, sending your my kid child abroad. abroad. Yeah. But once you are in government, no, you can't. You once you are, can't. no, if, if 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 we make it, even if I was a, the governor, a, of the state, if we you. make it a criteria, okay, if you are in okay, government, okay, I'm government. That, that means you don't have faith no, in the like, system. No, it's not like you don't have if you are a private businessman, no, 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 I'll tell you something. It's not about having faith. It's about the system. Yeah. The system before you got there. Yes. Yes. Right. I understand what you're saying. Now I want to make it better. Yes. I am, I am, no, I really am going to sacrifice my the kid. The problem with us, I'm not going to sacrifice my child. No <laughs> way. Not now, the, second the problem, term. No, the second pro term. No, the problem is. You can't do first term yeah. and then second term you are still determined to, to make it no, right. No, it's, look, we can't correct <laughs> First term, Eru Fai didn't send his children no, he didn't. to public school. Second term, he says he, his son ready. is there now. He says because ready. His four years is enough for him no, to get prepare. some things right. No, he, Jack on day. I'll four years. Uh, BC or no banjo, four years. Who told, was uh, Bruce Ali, no, four years. No, was the result after four years great? Yes, yes, now, it was. You know? It was. When we are, where we are today. That's what I'm saying. In four years, if you look at what those governors in the First Republic, in the Second Republic, sorry, if you look at the infrastructure and the investment they, mm. they, they put into education, yes. if only they had continued for another that's four it. years. That's it. But you now have political office holders yes, who will do four years, after four years. Who will do four years, and yet I, they still tell you that the public institutions are not good enough to take their kids. Yeah. If I do things properly and I have the heart to do it, that's what is good. That's what we don't have, is what I'm saying. Mm. El Rufa is just joking with his child. That's all I have. Uh, 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 that's very already. cynical. It might be oh, just no, no. one institution. Huh? It might be just one school that, that that child is attending. Good. They may fix it up. Why would I put a child in a school when I know that they won't get the best in it yes. from that school? No, so, so he can confirm that. Don't know so what's a, happening behind the scenes. You know what I want to know. But I, I want what I want to then my follow. I want to see in a year's time if that child is still in that school. That's what I'm saying. The child will remain. No, if you remember, Eru Fai when his first time, the first thing he did was to say, look, the teachers must they must go through an aptitude test, and he sacked so many of them. Yes, he sacked so many of them. Right so now. it wasn't because where did he find he, good where did he find the new good teachers? Wait, because you there are new there are teachers, there yeah, are people. Where are they? Where? 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 Wait, 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 No, to, what I, I am no, no let's let's take this thing in, in perspective. Stages. First and foremost, those that were there were terribly bad. There are some that are trainable. There are some you can't even train at all. Okay. The ones that were there, some could not even write primary four Correct. exam and Correct. you're teaching primary six to people and, and so when you now you know the problem okay. so when those people were sat definitely you know the problem as it is mm -hmm. four years or three years was enough for him to at least train a few that would take over 
those public schools. Okay, let me come. So in. that's why it's let confident now to say. Sorry, Chuka. Sorry, Chuka. You are, you, you are the one. Let, 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 me, let me make a point, uh, uh, Ronke. Let me make a point because Decades. I think Chuka has had a chance to land, but I'm not sure he got to land his point. Decades. But I was still coming at this okay. point. I think Ronke pointed out several things, and I want to take on the bit about the responsibility to parents. Mm. I, fine, we've talked about government. Uh, well, let's keep an eye on Erufai. But we as parents, I find a lot of parents this excuse of I'm too busy. Yeah, busy yeah. It's not going to wash anymore because if you you look at you need to take a personal interest now because you know that <laughs> you can't trust anybody to take that thing. Mm. So you yourself, now even if you take your child to the best school and you pay all the school fees in the world, it behoves you to keep your eye on that child mm -hmm. and check their homework yes. and check their progress. And personally, because I was, I will just say this very quickly, I know we're almost out of time. You know, even at the school my child is in, and I'd say it's a good school, they were saying to me, oh, that she needs support. How much is support is, is quite significant. It can be the same as somebody's school fees for a whole term. Mm -hmm. I said to them, it's okay. That's why I'm here. Yeah. Send me the extra work. I will drill. And I, I can guarantee you I'll do more than those teachers that I'm but paying how many parents to give support. Are like you? I bet you well, they better I'm, step up. You know, you know? I'm just so going to round up. We yes, don't yes. have enough teachers in the system. We are in a mess. So it just might take you and I, those people with the degrees from the UK, to please come and join us. So I've only just met the amazing and hilarious Liberus. But it's like we've known each other for um, so many years. We really do have a lot in common. So welcome back, Libby. Gracias. Mm -hmm. You're watching The Advocate on Plus TV Africa. It's good to be back. Benny Johnny, not so good. Growing up in villages like Arochuku, Bende, Ututu, Obinze, Arondiziogu, Mbano, Mbise, Okigwe, Oka, and others too numerous to mention in the early 70s, 80s, and 90s, whenever you hear that someone has gone to the city from these places, it was commonplace to conclude that such persons went to Abba, the home of the elephant, Eyi, presently in today's Abia state, then commercial nerve center, then Lagos of the southeastern state of Nigeria, followed by Onicha, or if you like, the Japan of Africa. Every known rich man in the southeast then had a house in Abba, as it was home to all. That was before the advent of this current political dispensation in 1999. Today, save for the recent visit by the current vice president to the shoe market in Ariara Ari in Abba, and in the austerity of the Abba tailor, coupled with the never say never attitude of the average Nigeria, the city has lost its glory, as it is only now known in the negative, as even those that used to produce in Abba have all taken flight to go produce in China, where the cost of production is far cheaper, leaving only those without the means to go to China behind, are once made in Abba. It's now made in China. Thanks to the inept governor the state had had the misfortune of having since 1999, a recent trip to Abba will bring tears to your eyes as it is now anything but a city. All the roads are either dilapidated or non-existent. Electricity in Abba is a mirage. And like most towns in Nigeria, social infrastructures are neither for the rich nor for the poor. Government presence is very far from the living, not to talk of the dead that we are sometimes left to wonder if there's a governor in the state. But indeed, there is doctor, for that matter, Victor Okezie Biazu, whose conspicuous b-board dotted all around the state has taken over the place of social amenities. Aba Potako Road is now a dead trap. Aba Kotek Pene Road is not motorable. The old Aba Umaya Road, leading to the governor's village in Obingwa, local government area, has been under construction for as long as I can remember, and never completed. Where can one really mention above today that brings a semblance of hope? Is it Ubo Hill, Ubo Hill Road, Orata Road, Abanot, the famous Araria Market, or the road by the popular Ungwa High School, not too far from a flyover that is taking eternity to build? All are but a city in darkness, dilapidated road and public infrastructures in shambles, begging for attention from both the federal and the state government. Even public workers are not spared the rot and relics of abandonment that Abba has become as they look on their faces, their tears of people whose salaries are neither certain nor guaranteed by a government that swore to serve and protect them. To them that have kickstarted the policies of 2023, even though we the people are yet to see the change of 2050, but have now been elevated to the next level of hunger and insecurity in 2019, we should remember that no country develops when its industrial cities are left in rain. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is it's actually very, very sad. But, you know, the, the sad thing is that most of um, the eastern part of Nigeria is now beginning to 
resemble not just this. east oh. yeah not just east oh, but yeah. you know i mean Almost like, all the roads like our roads yeah our roads like my my mom was explaining how um the between asaba and mm -hmm. the niger bridge yes. uh -huh. there's that small section that should be yeah. a five minute yeah. journey okay. but it actually takes how many hours yeah. Yeah. to just get through and between um, supply and worry yeah. is another it, it, you know it's yeah, crazy and even trending. when we look around lagos even just look at lagos you know if most yeah. of the oh, yeah, yeah. most of the roads mm -hmm. uh, exactly. yeah. <laughs> so th this aba is just that aba zone is on another level mm -hmm. but truly this is the state of nigerian roads you know i read somewhere which was a Surprised to me that apparently there was a, a department or um, an office that was put in place that should every time there's a pothole they they see the pothole yeah, public, and, public and, works and, yeah, and, and they're actually supposed to and, fill and, and the and potholes then, uh, almost the immediately. Highway so what, so what to? happened to the the defunct? Yeah, what happened? I mean, the okay, same I, thing that happened to all the other sectors. Other, I mean, I, I, when I heard all these names, I mentioned Aaron as well. I was feeling pride. I don't mm, know why I was feeling yeah, proud. All the solid days, glory days. But anyway, I mean, I guess I want to ask you: Is it good news? Because I read this morning that our Minister of Works, that's Fashola, apart from two things he said. One, he said, look, stop fixing our federal roads for us. If you fix our federal roads, the president says he's not going to pay you back because you people come back and claim excess. So leave it for us. We'll mind our business. We've inherited enough debt. We'll fix our federal You fix your state roads. Right. But I, when you were talking, I'm like, ah. And I was feeling sorry for Ike Akwerimadu when they were stoning him with yam. But now I understand. I'm not supporting IPOP by any means. But I now understand why they were targeting the Southeast governors because I'm saying to myself, the problem is there for us to see. These people are stealing funds because they're not doing what they ought to do. If they did what they ought to do, people wouldn't be so aggrieved by them. So I'm saying that they're culpable. The governors are culpable. The government is culpable. So nobody should be let off the hook. Mm -hmm. But anyway, back to the newspaper article I read this morning. They said they're going to give us 309, 6.5, billion. They're going to dedicate to the approved construction of three roads. One is Ibadan. Uh, Ilesha Road, the second Niger Breed Road that links to the southeast, and then the Kanu Katsina Highway. But I know the Asaba Onicha Link Roads are taking 200 and uh, 176 billion naira. They're swallowing that much. So is it good news? That's what I'm asking. It sounds like good news. <laughs> I, I, I don't even it's believe fake. it's even going to happen. It's fake news, <laughs> exactly. It's been approved. It's been approved. as approved. is becoming a joke. A suave guy. And uh, really, I think he should resign soon so that wow. he doesn't get to the bottom. I wasn't saying that Sean. because Fasha is involved. I was feeling no, a little more no, ginger. No, no, no. Fasha Lai, he should go before he's... Chuka, you know, being Now, the thing about the South is government. No, four years is the Southeast mm. governors, there's something wrong with almost all of them. I agree. They absolutely think they are God. Have you seen Obiano? Mm. How he with struts his with his glasses, you don't see his eyes, he dresses in strange really ways well and behaves like mm. somebody who is doing everything right. Are you the one saying this? Yes, I am. Being in mm. the I've things been that we inherited. Uyo, Umaya, Did you have Uwiri. any problem with Enugu? She's talking about Buburu. I want to Look, just I have. I have a friend who left for Enugu yesterday, left Lagos 6 a.m. and didn't get to Enugu until 9.30. Is that because of bad roads? That, I'm, I'm coming yeah. to that. Yes, because of bad roads. Yeah. Fashola saying, I remember the battle between Lagos State Government and Ogunlewe yes. yes. on federal roads, non-federal roads. Yes. And I don't expect, you know, Fashola that saying. we hold in such high esteem yeah. yeah. to be saying that. Yeah. And, now. Them back. and then that brings us to the issue of this issue of federal road, state road. Mm -hmm. The governors are culpable. The federal government is culpable. Mm -hmm. Abia State, for example, from 1999 to date, their government house is in a rented apartment. They've been building a government house for, a, for eternity. Mm. If you're just entering a bar from that uh, Portacourt Road as is, you know, you, you cry. You, you shed tears. I think you also cry when you're in a weary. Gosh, when we drove. Weary, weary, weary. It was so bad. It was so bad that Richard said that PDP sent chemical rains to destroy the roads. So you will ask is okay, if we practice true federalism, are these not the same governors that you will, you know, give power to that you have? Exactly. But the answer to that question is that we all now will no longer be looking at Abuja. We we'll fixated on our exactly. states and, then we and the region. We know that the solution to those problems lies in Umwaya, mm. in Uwere, in Benin, or yeah. you know, not oh, we are you know, we don't have money. We just pay mm. salary. I can tell you, Abia State's workers 
they've not been paid salary for more than five months now. Wow. And then you expect such people not to be corrupt. Mm. And then the governor will come on air to tell you that he has yeah, delivered 75% uh, mm. of his campaign. So how do we challenge that? How do the, we make them accountable that's, to us? The, the, the question is, you see, during the election, we're all here discussing all of these things. And then some people say, well, it is what it is. Until we learn to all come out during election and ensure that those we vote into office are not because somebody has said it's PDP or it's APC. Yes. Let's begin to have a paradigm shift. And that's the only way you can have people that will truly say, no, these things are not right. We, we don't need to follow in, in that direction. Or yeah. until we do that, yeah. a man spends money to put somebody in office. Yeah. It's a business for him. It's he a business, yeah. yeah, I think it's, it's, okay. it's very just, smart. It's the same thing we're talking about. We mm. just yeah. need these people to do their job. Mm. So they're taking money or doing whatever. It's not the only country that we have fraud and things in the government. But just do the job. Let I us have some good roads. Because mm -hmm. now those roads are now attracting criminals. People are losing their lives. They're victims of the system. Yes. Mm -hmm. People are hurting their homes. There's a heart attack. You mm -hmm. can't get to the hospital. You'll mm -hmm. die. So it's just getting from bad to worse. So we really need to do something. Mm -hmm. Well, every journey has an end. Although we may be hitting the brick, we know you will keep cruising. So keep the comments coming on our social media platform on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. And on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Till next week, same time, same station. Let's keep advocating for a better society. See you then. See ya. See ya. Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you yeah. can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem and this and that. One of the reasons why we don't have more women in politics in Nigeria is for as long as political meetings continue to take place in the middle of the night. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even say to be unaware. unaware of the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a terrible, terrible. Like fire. A terrible <laughs> strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities and quite frankly Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Yeah.